What's up, go-getters? It's your boy, Coach Twin. I'm back with another video. Thank you so much for coming out to check your boy out. And uh, yeah, I seriously missed out on making $10,000 today because, <laughs> you know, I set some uh, some sell limits and it just triggered. And then I was like, oh my goodness, I'm selling. And yeah, I bought 10,000 shares of ADMP at 155 yesterday. And then, well... If you, if you looked at it after hours today, it went nuts, all right? <laughs> Near 100% gain. So I would have made $10,000 today if I just held my 10,000 shares instead of setting sell limits. Well, let's get to it. All right, let's get to it. Start of the show today, ADMP. And here's how I did it. Okay, so what happened was yesterday, I was messing around with it. There's, I mean, there's like a lot of sell here. And I'm going to talk about that. <laughs> it's so funny what I did today, too. So yesterday I was I was trading it, right? Oh, oh, right here. Let me just move this out of the way. And uh, you know, I bought 10,000 shares, I sold it. I bought 10,000 shares, I bought, accidentally bought another 10,000 shares. I talked about this yesterday. And I sold it and I accidentally bought two, sold two shares and I had to freak, I freak out, I sold more and then it jumped to 157. So missed out on making money there yesterday. But here's, here's the kicker, okay? Um, I bought 10,000 shares yesterday at nearly closing hour and then it tanks like right here it tanks like if you look at the two hour chart here so if i go look at the two hour chart i mean the two day chart no the five day chart i take that back the five day chart here it went i was here i was in and it went bloop and then it kept going down and i was like all right so i held it for the day and this is when it just took off this is the graph from today and it is insane because it, my stop loss, all not stop loss, my limit sell all triggered right here. Look at this, just literally seconds after one another. So I was selling 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. And then I was, <laughs> I couldn't even, I couldn't even stop it. Like I was like, oh, let me just get out. So that way I can, you know, ride it up a little bit more, but it was way too fast. And, uh, you know, I made some money. So this is how much I made um, off of that. Let me just get this out of here first. So after all the stop triggering, this is what I made. $644. So I sent this to my Patreon students right away. And so, you know, I'm not just going to take this win. What did I do? <laughs> Go in and do some more trading, right? Uh, so I bought in at 174 and I wrote, and then I, um, I wrote it up a little bit and I sold 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. I mean, I bought more, a thousand, you know, <laughs> like, and I sold, and I sold, and I sold, and I sold, as I did this all day long after hours today. So basically what I did was I was pushing up the price. I think I was pushing up, the, I mean, I would like to think I push up the price, but really it's a lot, it's an effort from everybody to push up the price. So what I did was, uh, after hour trading is a little strange, right? Sometimes like one share would swing the price down like, 10, 15 cents, <laughs> it can happen. But uh, since it's such a cheap price to buy in, and it was like good news about something about COVID-19 news and everybody hops on it just like that. And uh, I decided to let it come down a little bit. And then I was gonna buy in at 150, but it never went down to 150. So, you know, caught the FOMO, I saw it 175, I just bought in, it got 174, and that's when I was riding it up, all the way up. And if you, just imagine if I held the 10,000 shares at 155 and waited all the way up until it reached its peak at 6, 261. That would have been like over $10,000. But it is what it is. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Things happen all the time like that. And it's all good, you know? It's all good. I tried out a bunch of other stuff too. Let me just go, go ahead and... Uh, Talking about what I traded today. I traded ACST right here. I bought 5,000 shares. I sold it right away. And I was just demoing for my students in the morning. Like, you know, when you go hard, right? And then I got in and got out and then it tanked. <laughs> but, it, but it is one to look at and it just, just keep an eye on it, all right? Um, and then I also traded uh, QTT. So I bought in QTT. I only wrote it up, I bought 10 shares. I mean, I was stuck. Like I was, you'll see videos later, I was stuck. 
with having so much money in certain investments already, no, well, day trading actually, not investment, that I was only to buy, I was, I was buying these 10 shares off of margins, right? So I was basically borrowing money to buy this. And you can see how I write this up, I was writing momentum. You're gonna see a video, with, a video of this a little bit later today, all right? So QTT, I was practicing trading on momentum because that's what I'm really good at. I can read momentum really fast and then hop in and hop out. So you can see right there, you know, the time was uh, roughly, um, roughly 14 to 15, so like 30 minutes or so. Okay, roughly 30 minutes, all right? And then I sold at that much. So imagine if I was trading 5,000 to 10,000 shares, but I couldn't do that. Why? Because my money was all locked up in other trades. So I just trade for fun there. And then, um, and then I went in and I also traded a BVT. You're gonna see this as well. I was trading on momentum. You can see 10 shares. I don't normally do like 10 share trades unless I'm messing around. Um, so I was riding the momentum. You're gonna see a video of this as well. So I hopped in at 660, got out at 672. Now imagine if this was like 10,000 shares. That's like $10,000. That's like a $1,000, $1,200 right there if I did 10,000 shares um, or at least 5,000 shares because the buying price is a little high and I don't have that kind of buying power yet, but your boy's gonna get there, don't worry. I'll be buying 10,000 shares of like everything. Um, but my sad story for today was these two, and you're gonna see a video of it as well, I'm gonna show you in a little bit, is a ADTX and a B Big, all right? So ADTX and B Big. You're gonna see a video right after I talk about these. Um, I went negative, and the reason why I went negative is because I didn't take profit. Uh, you're gonna watch the video and think like, why are you so stupid? Like, why, why didn't you just take the profit and just walk away? Well, I've been practicing this thing called long holding, meaning like I would buy and hold for as long as I can and then let the momentum ride up all the way up, like all day long momentum, not like quick bursts of momentum. And this one just had like quick bursts of momentum for, I don't know, like an hour or so and then it just died. But you're gonna see that I was in a profit zone, I just didn't take it. And then also be big, same thing. I was in a profit zone, up five, six hundred dollars, didn't take it. <laughs> and you're like, what's wrong with this guy? Well, you know, I'm just, I'm just messing around because I'm, I'm teaching myself how to be patient and do long hold because I do wanna get into options trading. And if I don't have that kind of patience to wait let the price ride up and then sell at the top it's you know options trading is not going to get me as much as if i did penny tradings like this where i trade like five thousand to ten thousand shares so it's roughly doing the same thing you know what i mean like just riding up a higher amount of shares but the problem with uh options is i don't know how to buy and sell very fast and the calculation for the profits and everything is just a little complicated for me uh, but i will probably get to it in the summer but yeah that's where I'm at right now, and uh, it was cool because yesterday was a horrible day because my trade psychology was all messed up, you know. And uh, you know, wifey got on my nerve a little bit, my daughter got on my nerve a little bit. I started blaming them, but then you know, it was really just like me. So, you know, don't blame other people when it's like your problem. And um, today, my trade psychology was on point, uh, and then I practiced a long hold. And I ended up like, you know, being down like $2,000, right? And that's okay because I'm okay with it because I have enough, uh, I made enough profits to be able to do these kinds of experiment and really just practice mastering my emotions. Because if you don't master your emotions, when you are trading like this, you're going to be like, oh, I feel so defeated. You can't have that mentality. You gotta be like, all right, well, I'm gonna cut my losses really fast and then I'm gonna wait for the next opportunity to take the ride back up. I literally watch, I admit, here's, here's my account right here, okay? I literally watch my account go from $54,000 to $46,000 and then I'm back up to $48,000, $49,000. So you have to have that kind of mentality where I ain't worry about nothing because, <laughs> well, if you're trading with money, that you actually need, you're gonna be fearful. Uh, but I'm trading with money I don't really need and I'm willing to risk it. Um, you know, I'm up like right now, 8,000, almost $9,000. I was up almost $15,000. So I was willing to take some of these crazy risks. Like if you look here, B big and ADTX, I mean, 
those are some big losses. And then OBLN, that was just straight stubbornness from yesterday because, well, you know, like I said, my trade psychology was messed up. But anyways, I'm gonna show you some videos. I hope you enjoy these videos because this is what I send to my Patreon students through our chat. And you're gonna see ADTX and big, be big in the profit. So you're gonna see ADTX, you're gonna see you're going to see B big, you're going to see ADTX, and then I will um, go up here and show you videos of uh, BV, BVXV and QTT. So I'm sorry if it looks like, you know, kind of messed up, but <laughs> it's because, you know, I was like holding it and watching my daughter go to school and trying to record for my students. And I was multitasking, right? Please excuse the shakiness of it all, but I hope you enjoy it. So I got in about, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes, 10 minutes ago, and I'm letting it marinate above this price. I have a sell limit, but I'm gonna price switch it up to a stop loss after this goes up to around like $7. So hopefully it'll push past the $7 mark right here. There's $7 right there. And then um, I will be able to move my stop loss. I'll switch this up from a limit sell to a stop loss, and then I'm guaranteed right now to make roughly three or $400 and then be happy with that if it stop loss it's all good once it picks uh seven dollars let's hope it does okay so i bought in like somewhere right here and now i'm just waiting patiently for a long time now for it to uh just break 685 once it breaks seven i'll move up to 685 and then i'm guaranteeing myself three hundred dollars in profits for sure so right now it's you know trying to break that seven dollar mark. Once it breaks seven, I'll move. I'll make a uh, stop loss of a thousand. Of uh, I mean a stop loss at six eighty five to guarantee three hundred dollars. That's how much I normally make teaching. You know what I mean? So that's it. Just sit and wait patiently, and I'm back to basics again because I got burned yesterday <laughs> like really bad. So trading on momentum. Be B big is uh, losing momentum. I'm actually in the negative now, but ADTX, it's, uh, it has high momentum right now. So I'm trading on momentum and on margins. So I got in at, uh, actually I wrote, I wrote it from like down here, but only 10 shares all the way up to like near $5. And I sold 10 shares. Now I'm <laughs> getting back in the game again at 500 shares. <laughs> I should have just like taken my money out of this and then moved it into here. So that way I have more buying power. So that's why I'm only able to buy 500. Normally I do like a thousand to five thousand. Should have done it. Should have sold it at a loss and then just used it. Use my buying power to get in and make these fast trades. Cause I would be making whatever I lost back already. Eh. But you know, part of the learning, right? So once this stock ADTX break five ten here, it'll probably hop up to close to five twenty ish. That's when I'll move this up to like five dollars as a stop loss to protect profits. And then we'll see if it hits the price target right there because that was the uh, high for the day thus far. We'll see. But that's how you lock in profits and uh, be safe. So this is momentum trading on QTT. I saw the momentum, I bought in, and then I wait for the pop up, drag my stop loss up above my position just to lock in profits. And then now I'm just waiting for the momentum to take it all the way up and then see how far this goes. But I do have two failed experiments right now and I'm down like $2,000. But this is me just going back to basics and using 10 shares because that's all I can afford right now trading on margins. <laughs> all my other money is in the other big experiments. So but yeah, that's how I do it. Trade on momentum and um, scalp really fast, but got to learn how to be patient right now. So as you can see here, I moved up my stop loss to protect more profits. So again, just imagine if this was 10,000 shares. Oh, it triggered, I think. Hmm, that was odd. That was a blip there. <laughs> I guess, there you go, it triggered. So I guess I sold. There you go, so I protected my profits and uh, wasn't freaking out. So that was just a small experiment, 10 shares. I was predicting this is gonna go for $5 and it broke the high, I believe, right here. So if I zoom out, it already broke the high for the day. So, yep, 
This is uh, momentum trading, guys. You gotta read the momentum, you gotta pay attention to the stocks, all the different stocks over here. And then you'll find the one with momentum and you trade the one with momentum. Big G, or B, B, Big is a dying momentum. And then ADTX had momentum and it died too. So failed experiments and uh, this is what it cost me right here. Okay. Just to show you. These are my failed momentums. Big G and ADTX. Those are failed momentums. This was just straight messed up psychology. And uh, I'm gonna hold these. Man, I'll probably just end up cutting them loose and just using the funds to trade again on momentum. So that way I stick to how I trade. Oh, you know, just, just sitting around and dragging up that stop loss and then it triggered. <laughs> Got that money. Momentum trading. <laughs> Man, it's like too easy to read momentum, so I need to stick to that. I can't do long holds anymore. It's just, it doesn't work out. It is so funny to watch my stack and sell technique scare off all these people who are trying to short sell because a lot of people like to buy and sell at 100 shares. And I just keep pushing them away. It's so funny. They just keep disappearing. <laughs> this is too funny. All right. Well, I'm back now. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, those are the things I send to my students who I teach. Patreon link down below. And uh, don't forget to uh, like, share, and subscribe if I forgot to say that. And I'm going to say goodbye now with, uh, with first saying thank you to you for watching me uh, blabber and um, just learning some of my trade psychology. And, you know, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments down below. Um, that's it. You know, I'm going to say goodbye. So if you're new to the channel, get your hands ready. If you're returning, get your hands ready. If you're new, just follow along. Rock, paper, peace. Let's hang out again in the next video.